two gears are shown below in their starting position. One, two. Gear one has six teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six. Gear two has eight teeth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As gear one turns, it causes gear two to turn at a different rate. This one here is going to spin pretty fast, and this one's going to spin a bit slower because it's bigger. Gear one is rotated until the two gears are back to this starting position. So the starting position is such that this black gear is locked between these other two positions here. So it's, this is the starting position. What is the minimum number of rotations gear one requires to return to this starting position? So when we think about it, this gear one, it takes six notches to return back to its original position. One, two, three, four, five, six. It takes six notches. So this is gear one. We have the initial starting position. It jumps one, two, three, four, five, six notches and then we're back to the beginning. We're here. One, two, three, four, five, six, and that's one full rotation. Now whereas gear two has eight teeth, so it takes eight jumps. So we have gear two, it starts off here, it goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It takes eight full notches to go revolve all the way one time. This here is one rotation. One rotation. This here is one rotation for gear two. Now we're talking about what's the minimum number of rotations gear one requires. So we want to know how many rotations that this requires in order for us to return to the starting position. This here is the initial starting position. The starting position is where these two initial positions match. We can see this black uh, colored piece here is matching with these other black pieces here. So we want this to match up. So let's try another rotation. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. We have another rotation here. This is rotation number two from here to here. Whereas gear two goes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the second rotation for gear two. However, notice how in terms of the position, previously over here, we're one, two units away from matching up. Whereas now here, we're essentially one, two, three, four units away. So it looks like we're getting a bit further away. So this this dot versus this dot, it's starting to move to the left. So if you see the pattern, every rotation here, it ends up moving another two pieces. So it would take a total of four rotations for these dots to match up. So the answer is C, it's four. If you don't see that already, let's try again. Let's try one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's, this here is our third rotation. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So our dot is here, and we can see that these dots are getting further apart to the point where this one's gonna be matching up soon. So let's try again. One, two, three, four, five, six, aha. We have these black dots matching up now. And this took a total of four rotations for this to occur.